cost principle the historical cost principle or financial accounting chapter 1 best lectures of full book detailed lecture notes 19 what is accounting accounting consists of three basic activities it identifies records and communicates the economic events of an organization to interested users what was the undergraduate degree chosen by Nike founder Phil Knight Home Depot co-founder Arthur Blank former acting director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI Thomas Pickard and numerous members of Congress accounting one why did these people choose accounting they wanted to understand what was happening financially to their organizations accounting is the financial information system that provides these insights in short to understand your organization financial accounting chapter 1 best lectures of full book detailed lecture notes 20 you have to know the numbers financial accounting chapter 1 best lectures of full book detailed lecture notes 21 bookkeeping usually involves only the recording of economic events. It is therefore just one part of the accounting process. In total, accounting involves the entire process of identifying, recording, and communicating economic events. Who uses accounting data The financial information that users need depends upon the kinds of decisions they make. Two groups. Internal users and external users. One dot internal users of accounting information are managers who plan, organize, and financial accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 22 Run the Business These include marketing managers, production supervisors, finance directors, and company officers. To answer these and other questions, internal users need detailed information on a timely basis. Financial Accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 23-2 External users are individuals and organizations outside a company who want financial information about the company. The two most common types of external users are investors and creditors. Investors, owners, use accounting information to decide whether to buy, hold, or sell ownership shares of a company. Creditors, such as suppliers and bankers, use accounting information to evaluate the risks of granting credit or lending money. Finance one best lectures of full book detailed lecture notes 24 financial accounting answers these questions it provides economic and financial information for investors creditors and other external users these information needs of external users vary considerably taxing authorities such as the internal revenue service want to know whether the company complies with tax laws regulatory agencies such as the Securities and Exchange Commission or the Federal Trade Commission want to know whether the company is operating within prescribed rules Customers are interested in whether a company like General Motors will continue to honor product warranties and support its product lines. Labor unions such as the Major League Baseball Players Association want to know whether the owners have the ability to pay increased wages and benefits. Financial Accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 25 The building blocks of accounting An architect follows certain standards in designing a building. An accountant follows certain standards in reporting financial information. For these standards to work, a fundamental business concept must be at work ethical behavior people won't play the stock market if they think stock prices are rigged. In recent years, the financial press has been full of articles about financial scandals at Enron, WorldCom, HealthSouth, AIG, and other companies. As the scandals came to light, mistrust of financial reporting in general grew. One article in the Wall Street Journal noted that repeated disclosures about questionable accounting practices have bruised investors' faith in the reliability of earnings reports, which in turn has sent stock prices tumbling. Imagine trying to carry on a Financial Accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 26 Business or Invest Money If You Could Not Depend on the Financial Statements to Be Honestly Prepared Information Would Have No Credibility United States regulators and lawmakers were very concerned that the economy would suffer if investors lost confidence in corporate accounting because of unethical financial reporting. In response, Congress passed the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, SOX. Its intent is to reduce unethical corporate behavior and decrease the likelihood of future corporate scandals. As a result of SOX, top management must now certify the accuracy of financial information. In addition, penalties for fraudulent financial activity are much more severe. Also, SOX increased the independence requirements of the outside auditors who review. Financial Accounting, 
Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 27 The Accuracy of Corporate Financial Statements and Increase the Oversight Role of Boards of Directors The standards of conduct by which actions are judged as right or wrong, honest or dishonest, fair or not fair, are ethics. To sensitize you to ethical situations in business and to give you practice at solving ethical dilemmas, we address ethics in a number of ways in this textbook, when analyzing these various ethics cases, as well as experiences in your own life, it is useful to apply the three steps outlined in illustration 1 to 4. Financial Accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 28 Ethics Insight, Example, The Numbers Behind Not For Product Organizations proper control and reporting help ensure that money is used the way donors intended. Donors are less inclined to give to an organization if they think the organizer. Financial Accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 29 Jin is subject to waste or theft. For example, after the Haitian earthquake, the Haitian-born musician Wyclef Jean was criticized for the poor accounting controls in a relief fund that he founded. In response, he hired a new accountant and improved the transparency regarding money raised and spent. Generally accepted accounting principles The accounting profession has developed standards that are generally accepted and universally practiced. This common set of standards is called Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, GAAP. The primary accounting standard setting body in the United States is the Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB. The Securities and Exchange Commission. Financial Accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 30, SEC is the agency of the U.S. government that oversees U.S. financial markets and accounting standard-setting bodies. Many countries outside of the United States have adopted the accounting standards issued by the International Accounting Standards Board, IASB. These standards are called International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS. As markets become more global, it is often desirable to compare the results of companies from different countries that report using different accounting standards. In order to increase comparability, in recent years, the two standard-setting bodies have made efforts to reduce the differences. Financial Accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 31 between USGAAP and IFRS. This process is referred to as convergence. As a result of these convergence efforts, it is likely that someday there will be a single set of high-quality accounting standards that are used by companies around the world. Measurement Principles GAAP generally uses one of two measurement principles, the Historical Cost Principle or the Fair Value Principle. Relevance Historical cost principle, means that financial information is capable of making a difference in a decision. Faithful representation, fair value principle, mean Faithful representation, fair value principle, means that the numbers and descriptions match what really existed or happened they are factual. Financial accounting, chapter 1 best lectures of full book detailed lecture notes 32 historical cost principle the historical cost principle, or cost principle, dictates that companies record assets at their cost. For example, if Best Buy purchases land for $360,000, the company initially reports it in its accounting records at $360,000. But what does Best Buy do if, by the end of the next year, the fair value of the land has increased to $400,000? Under the historical cost principle, it continues to report the land at $360,000. Fair Value Principle The Fair Value Principle states that assets and liabilities should be reported at fair value, the price received to sell an asset or settle a liability. Financial Accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 33 In determining which measurement principle to use, companies weigh the factual nature of cost figures versus the relevance of fair value. In general, most companies choose to use cost. Only in situations where assets are actively traded, such as investment securities, do companies apply the fair value principle extensively. International Insight Example, the Korean discount If you think that accounting standards don't matter, consider recent events in South Korea. For many years, international investors complained that the financial reports of South Korean companies were inadequate and inaccurate. Accounting practices there often resulted in huge differences between stated revenues and actual revenues. Because investors did not have faith in the accuracy of the numbers, they were unwilling to pay as much for the shares of these companies relative to shares of comparable companies in different countries. In response, Korean regulators decided that, beginning in 2011, companies would comply with international accounting. Financial Accounting, Chapter 1 Best Lectures of Full Book Detailed Lecture Notes 34 Standards This change was motivated by a desire to make the country's businesses more transparent in order to build investor confidence and spur economic growth. Many other Asian countries, including China, India, Japan, and Hong Kong, 
have also decided either to adopt international standards or to create standards that are based on the international standards. Assumptions Assumptions 